what's up guys welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be doing a very requested uh, topic which is how to mix color without the mixer brush or the the blending brush so we're gonna start with that um, it's very simple actually so for that to explain that I'm going to use two colors and let's say I want to use uh, red for example let's just pick this brush which is very basic brush there's nothing uh, special or weird about it um, maybe the background is too gray something like this I think it works better and I'm going to do I'm going to put um, two colors this red first and then I'm going to use a yellow color let's see all right so there are two ways of doing this. Uh, one way is to have these two colors and then you're gonna blend them using the pen pressure from your pen, which is uh, very basic actually. Uh, it's a bit difficult to me, honestly. And the other way, which I prefer, is trying to control the pressure also by the help of the numbers on your keyboard. So we're gonna try the first approach, which is the pen pressure from your pen. For that, you're gonna have to you're gonna need to have a brush that has uh, pen pressure sensitivity, which is this, that if, if I paint really soft, it's kind of like uh, transparent, and if I get like really into it, then it becomes way more um, darker, as you can see here, what I'm showing, right? So you can see like the difference in the pressure that I'm applying to the pen. So if I pan, if I paint really, really uh, soft on top of it, notice that my pen pressure right now is 100% here on the opacity of the brush right there here where it says opacity. But I'm using the pen pressure of the pen. So where is that? Where can I find that? If you if you press F5 or function F5, you have a laptop you have to have this transfer on if it's not on there's no way this is gonna work it will look like this it will look like very like very um solid kind of brush stroke right so you want this transfer on and in the transfer you want control pen pressure on right so uh, don't mess with those settings Th that's what is gonna make you be able to do this but now you, you're asking maybe like how the hell do you get this color on top of the red one now because um, you can only do so much with what you have right now so the next step will be pressing I with the keyboard which is the eyedropper click on that and then B again which is the brush again and you're gonna do the same thing on top of the red but I'm really like I'm very subtle with the brush if I paint like 100% opacity it will be like this it will be the same as what I had but I wanted to have I wanted to make another step so I'm, I'm painting like half of that amount of pressure so it will be something like this and then instead of just two colors you will start having like a small transition see so it will be a matter of just taking that new color pressing B again and painting on top of that and that way you start to make that kind of like stare of colors that is a very slow process if you if you have B on which is the B which is the brush um, uh, key B and then you press alt which is the the alt key on the keyboard you see how the icon change and instead of the instead of being the the brush instead of, of being B is, is you can see like there's the eyedropper icon now so whatever I click I'm gonna get that color and then if I unpress the alt button automatically becomes B again which is the brush so that's an, an alternative br uh, key key shortcut if I'm using B and then press alt I get the eyedropper if I release the alt button you get the the brush again and that way you can do that quicker which is a very is very important to start doing this quick because it's gonna take you a lot of time and see how you just take a color paint half of the pressure 
take a color and paint half of the pressure and, and the pressure I'm just controlling it with my hand right with how much I'm I'm putting my hand into the into the tablet now that, that is a very if you ask me if you have a lot of control with the with the brush strokes with the pen pressure cool that you can do that awesome but me <laughs> I'm a bit more messy so there's this another other approach like the second approach that I normally use I will have two colors again let's put the two colors and I'm, I'm really getting into really heavy with the pen pressure so I can really paint these colors 100% and notice how I'm here on the opacity now I'm going to press 5 on the keyboard number 5 so opacity now is 50% I'm gonna create a new layer just in case always good to do that um, <laughs> Control shift n is a new layer right and because I already know that whatever I do if I if I take this red color and I, I paint it like as much as I can is always gonna have this ceiling of 50% opacity so it doesn't matter how hard I paint now if I paint twice on it though what's gonna happen is that it's gonna um, it's gonna it's like you're making another layer of paint on top of that see and you have to be like constantly painting on top painting on top to get that new layer of paint until you get to 100% Arguably somebody could say like hey, but you paint at 50% if you paint again like another layer on top Wouldn't it be 100% right away? I don't know why you have to do that more than once It makes sense that if you're painting 50% and you paint again, it will be 100 But I don't know why it doesn't work like that um, It's something additive to it Anyway uh, what, I, what I have to do now is just take a color with the alt button on the keyboard while you're using the B which is brush and just paint and you automatically get the 50% of yellow on top of the red right and then you take this new guy and apply it to this side and then the same thing happens like now what happens if I take this one for example and just paint it on top of all of this it's the same thing I just added a new layer see and that's I'm not saying adding a new layer like literally just creating a new layer in Photoshop and just I'm talking about layers of paint okay and now I'm going to use red maybe and I will get this for example maybe that's too much maybe this one might be better and that way you can start to play around a little bit with those opacities and those and you can see how slowly you're making that transition so that's, those are the two ways that I normally use to blend the colors without the uh, blending brush now the next step will be you will have to, to depending on what you're doing you have to do this so many times so it doesn't look like that so it will be more like softer and you will have to be picking and painting on top of it until it looks until it looks really soft now you have ways of doing that like you can blend them later using the smudge tool which is where is it um, I don't think I have it in this configuration though of Photoshop but anyway like it will be let's say workspace painting and there it is this one uh, this this brush right here the smudge tool it works as a like if you were using your finger and doing like that on the image so it will make this effect you will get this kind of like blending kind of thing right but that honestly having to change the the tool just to blend for me is just insane that you have to do that like you don't really do that thing on traditional I think maybe if you use like something else to to blend some colors in or something like that but it will have to be a special kind of paint I guess it's weird so Try to, as much as you can, practice this, like these ways of blending um, and using the, the brush with the B key and then Alt to get the eyedropper on 
and just that picking color and painting picking color and painting and remember that you will having you will be having the 50 percent opacity here so that's really important that you you always um be aware of that so yeah those are the two ways to uh, mix colors without the mixer brush or the blended brush however you want to call it and that's it thank you very much guys and see you on the next one